What's up guys, Redneck Throttle here, and in today's video I'm going to be replacing the brake band on this $50 go-kart. And by replacing this brake band on this go-kart, it will start the build series of the $50 go-kart, so stay tuned for that. So I'm going to take off this brake band. And I'm going to order the new one. Alright, so I got it off. It wasn't all that hard. It was just a few um, uh, of these little pins right here. And I think you call these Carter pins. I can't really think of it right now, but I'm pretty sure that's the name of them. And uh, you can see they are all, if it'll, yeah, it's all bent up. It's not straight at all. So they're not exactly a rare sight. So I think I could buy some more for it. But even if I can't find any, then I can just uh, hammer these back down to straight again, I guess. This one's pretty straight. This one's uh, just fine. And then for the actual brake band, I'm just going to order a new one. Because it's like ripping apart and it just feels flimsy and old. And it'd just be easier to get a new one. They're about $16, $18 on the internet, so I'll just get a new one. And then uh, we'll install it and uh, see if it works. So I was looking up all the uh, brake bands that I could find. And uh, they were all different sizes. Like that four and a half inches, five inches, four inches. And I'm glad I figured that out. I'm glad I saw that. Because I have to measure this drum, is I think what you call it. It's not just a circle. And it was four and three quarter inches. And since the drum is four and three quarter inches, you don't want the brake band to be four and three quarter inches. Because then it would just sit on it and it would just create friction all the time and you wouldn't want that because it would just be as as wide as the drum is so i'm gonna order a five inch brake band and uh hopefully that should be pretty good because it shouldn't touch the drum until i pull the brake pedal but well i guess we'll just have to see so the brake band finally came in it took a little while but Obviously, it's Amazon, so it's going to take a little while. But, yeah, I'm covering the address shipping plate because I don't want you guys to come and try to touch me and stuff. So, yeah, well, let's install it. So, I didn't record myself when we was installing it because I was with my grandpa. And it's sort of weird recording when family's around because you're sort of just like, hey, talk to the phone, okay? I'm trying to make a video here. So, it's a little bit awkward. So, I didn't record it. But... When I first got this brake band, I thought it was going to be a little bit too small for the drum. But I finally got it on, and it turns out the reason it wasn't coming on is if you can see it. Yeah, you can see that little lip right there that goes around it. It gets a little bit wider. And yeah, the brake band didn't want to fit over that, but we finally got it onto the uh, actual drum, and that creates friction whenever you stop it, so... It sounds a little bit tight, but that's just the rust squeaking when the brake band's on it. It's barely touching it, though, so it's not enough to actually uh, hurt the speed of the go-kart or anything. So, yeah, it spins like that. But if you were to hit the brakes, yeah, it won't spin at all. So, I'd say this brake band install was a success. It's really simple to put onto. Just two little cotter pins right here. Well, at least on my setup it is. And then there's a little cotter pin that goes in the middle of the brake band so it doesn't come off, which is real handy. And yeah, it's really simple to install. I thought I might just give you guys a little bit of a breakdown of how I did put it on, even though I didn't record it, of me installing it. So basically, I take this drum and I put it back on the axle. And the brake band, this is connected all the way up to the brake pedal right here and push the brake pedal, obviously. So that pulls this and it creates friction on the drum, blah, 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 stops the go-kart. This has a little pin that goes through this hole right there. And it keeps the brake band on this side so it stays on nice and tight. And then after that I just put a, a little boat right here onto the axle so this drum doesn't slide around. And yeah, it works perfectly so I'd say it's successful. So if you guys watched up until this point, which is really surprising, I like the video. I'm just a redneck on YouTube trying to get some likes on a video, so just help me out. Remember to subscribe and tell your friends about the channel. Thanks for watching me do a really bad video of a brake band replacement. And uh, remember to stay tuned so you can uh, figure out how this $50 go-kart turns out. So thanks for watching.